Hello, I'm really glad you joined today for the conditioning class. What we're doing today, we're using three different sets of weights. I'm going to go a light, which is about a two and a half, and then the medium, a four, and then the heavy, which is going to be a six. And what you'll notice is on the longer levers, I'll be using the lighter weights, and then something in the middle, and then on the shorter ones, holding it closer to my body, I'll be using the heavy weights. Okay, so if you've got that luxury of three different sets of weights, grab them now, get ready. Um, you'll need a mat, enough room to move about in, and a bottle of water as well. Okay, so you've got all those things, tick them off, we're ready to go, and we'll start with a warm up. Okay, a little march through for me. With the march, abs pulled in, I'm going to do that lift, and that squeeze into the waist. Good. Feel personal down, squeeze. Okay, long arms to the front, put them across, put them across. Good, just a little heel kick out. Feel that lengthening on the back of the leg. Get a little drop. Good, we do a step touch. I'm just going to do the circle, the way that I'm going. Now I'm coming back from my toes. Lift it up. Good. And again. Circle. Then up. I'm going to do that, but with an elbow out. Sharp elbow. Sharp elbow. Good. Go four more. Then kicking out just one side. Good. Staying your weight on one leg. As you pull in. Other leg. Good. Get that squeeze behind the shoulder blade. Back to your step touch. Little reach out. Pull it back. You're grabbing that air. Pulling it back. Okay, coming over the top. Little over the top. Ribcage down and in. Tapping out that foot. Then across. Shoulders back and down. Okay, go stay on this side. Just a little roll around. Good, soft leg at the front, straight leg at the back. Then coming up to that front leg, do the run. Yeah, four more. Okay, other side, up. Good, soft front leg, back leg planted. Bring that back leg in. Okay, I'm gonna do a box step or a little V step to the front. And I'm getting that little drop. So you can feel the fronts of your thighs working for you. Keep those arms going as well. Yeah, two more. Just change it over, other side. Yeah, dropping it down. Coming back up. Four more. Four. Yeah, two more. Okay, squat it wide here. Squat wide. Bring it up. Give me that squeeze all the way to the top. Yeah. Feel those back to the legs squeezing and then the glutes as well. Okay, well done. Little down side to side. Bottom's gone back. Back is straight. Okay, little turn. Down. Okay, gonna make it a double. Little here. Double. Double. Get that twist through the waist. Yeah. Drop it down. Give me that turn. Two more. Now walk it in, walk it out. Walk it in, walk it out. Yeah, so you're dropping back into your squat each time. Yeah, two more. One more. And well done, just give it a little shake out. Okay, lovely. Okay, so we're going to start. It's going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And I'm going to go with the lighter weights first of all. So, grab me your lighter weights. Okay, so on this one, again, that strong stance, shoulders back and down. One arm, one arm, both arms. But again, feeding it through the core as well, weight pulled in. Okay, we're ready, we've got those weights. Here we go, 45, 15. Okay, 
Nice and strong. Good, just going to be getting that lift. Now we're used to that, I'm going to do a double, so I do single, single, then double. Good, notice how different that is once you do the double. Really feel that rib cage, stays down and low. Good. Up, up, then the double. Still feeling strong through the legs. Got those front and shoulders working for you. And good work, well done. Okay, I'm just going to do that again. Just with the other leg back. Again, so that soft front leg that we did on the warm up. Planted back leg, abs definitely pulled in. Okay, I'm just going to start on those singles. Good, abs pulled in. Feel the shoulders themselves, don't lift. It's about the front of the shoulder there and the abs keeping control. Okay, now let's do single, single, double, single, single, double it up for me. Yeah. Feeling long in those levers, so those weights are far away from my body, up at the top there. So I have to keep my abs pulled in. Good. A few more seconds left now. And well done. Good. Okay, bring those weights down. I'm coming onto a heavier weight. This time closer to my body, out to the side. So remember, that doesn't get longer. Abs are pulled in. Good. Give me that lift. So I'm keeping it closer to my body. I can still feel that work in my core. Back of my shoulder, getting a little bit more work on this. I've sat back. Good. And then they're getting that lift. Good, so if you can, if you've got that heavy weight where you are, give that lift. Okay, so outside, back of shoulder, working for you. Well done, okay. Second set of that. Okay, so when I start, bend the knees, my weight's back on my heels, my abs are pulled in, and then the crank is from the outside of the shoulder. Give me that lift. Good. Give me that lift. Feel it in the torso as well, around the core. each time. Last few seconds now. And good work, well done. Okay, then we're coming up to our heavy weights. I'm going to keep them close onto my chest. It's going to be about using those big power muscles into a squat. Get yourself out of that squat and up. Okay, so here, the work is also on the upper back here, because that weight is going forward but I want to keep a nice straight back. Make sure you don't roll forward with this one. Good, dropping down. Really feel it on those glutes to get back up. Drop and squeeze. Make sure your weight's back. Last few seconds now. Good work. Okay, well done. If you don't like with a heavier weight, no need to bring the heart rate up, the breathing up. You can also feel it on your upper back, keeping that stability. Okay, we're going to go again with these weights. 
Okay, so I've got on the front there. Okay, drop them down. If you haven't got a set of weights, but you may have got a kettlebell or something like that instead, that can substitute that set of weights. Ah, good. Yeah, we're going down to single figures now. Get that push for me. Really use those glutes. All up to top. Last few seconds now. Well done. Okay, lovely. Okay. My next one is just my own body weight. It's going to be a plie. Come after that plie and give me that squeeze through the waist. Okay, so. Plie squat, so. Down, come up, push it out, come up. So no extra weight, just using your own body weight, but make sure you stay in your plie the whole time. That arm really pushes away strong. Then when I come up, I do get that squeeze right over the waistband, front and back of waist. I keep my bottom tucked in, because it's a plie. Good. Give me that squeeze. Head does go to the side, so I'm closing that gap. Well done, okay lovely. On the other side. So again, okay, feet 10 to 2, knees go 10 to 2, into that plie squat, bottom tucked in, as pulled in, hip screen. Um, Way squeeze. Okay, lovely. Give me that squeeze. Good. So sinking into that plie. You're right in the middle of the plie. Okay. And then that squeeze. Yeah, squeeze it down. Good work, well done. Okay, picking up your lighter weights again. Second circuit round. I'm going straight into the single, single, double. Okay, so you know what we're doing now. Long arms, can't space towards you. Strong leg. Good, so it's about that core being pulled in. Keep those arms nice and long, straight out to the front. Using the front of that shoulder. Yeah, we're over halfway now. Give me that lift. Feel the ribcage stays down, the abs stay pulled in the whole time. Good, we're we'll down to single figures now. Here we go. Last few seconds. Give me that lift. Okay, then stay nice and strong. And good work, well done. Okay, I'm just changing the other way. All you need to do is put the other leg back. Half that foot, nice and strong. Bottom comes in with you. Front knee, soft. Okay, palms towards you, shoulders back and down. Good, long and straight. Feel about those abs being pulled in, that belly button. Good. About to hit single figures. There we go. And we're up. Good. Really feel that core pulled in the whole time. Now that zip and hollow on. And well done. Okay, then we moved it up to the fours. Not so far away from the body. Here, half facing each other, and then face towards the floor. 
Okay, so don't extend that arm. Okay, it's a single and a single. Good, I'm sitting back on my heels. Okay, let those arms do their work. I keep my ass pulled in the whole time. Yeah, so I'm getting that lift. Just straight out to the side. Make sure the palms are facing towards the floor when you get to that last bit. Well done. Okay, second set of that. Core keeping me stabilised. I'm sitting back on my heels. Then I'm getting that lift. Are we ready? Give me that lift. stabilizing top of my back not letting me drop forward okay so elbows on your thighs push up good so get all the way up really give me that squeeze through the glutes through the thighs good keep that weight on your heels come up, especially if you've got those heavier weights. Not so heavy, just do me more squats in that repetition. Okay, well done. Second set to come. Okay, lovely. Sitting. Yeah, so go with the heaviest weights you've got. Or if you have a kettlebell, something like that, where you are, you really want that heavy weight because you're using those big glute muscles, back to the legs. Yeah, I get you to push up each time. Over halfway now. Good work, well done. Okay, lovely, we are moving on. Okay, give me your light weights again, please. Okay, we're gonna go out to the side, straight. Okay, so I'm not really sit back on it now. Just here, straight arm, straight arm. Good, and like we did in that last exercise, I'm then gonna get the double, and I'm gonna do little circles at the end. Okay, single, single, double, single, single, double it up, stay here, good, then go back down again, single, single, double, long and straight. Good, coming down, long straight up, good, doubles. And good work. Okay, well done. Go do that second time. Good, so I'm only slightly left forward. Just give me room. 
and then that straight arm out. Okay, straight arm, straight arm, double, good, going down, straight arm, palms towards the floor, good, and then back down, lift, lift, double, and give you that turn, good, going down, that straight arm, Double, feeling it in the shoulders. Good work. And that's it's going away from me. Especially on those singles. You have to really think about your core being pulled down and in. Yeah, give me that lift. And good work, well done. Okay, lovely. Okay, I'm going to do an upright row. Pull back on that. Good. Give me that pull back. I'm not turning my shoulder. It goes straight to the back there. Don't turn the angle of the hand. Now single, single, double. Single. Single. Double. Good. That pull back. Yeah, so I'm getting that movement at the back of my shoulder. But otherwise, I'm keeping everything nice and solid. Good. And that will remember on the next one, we keep our shoulders down. Okay, well done. Second set of that. A little pull back row. Abs pulled in the whole time. Good. Straight back. Don't let those shoulders drop as that weight goes forward. Okay, so single, single, double. Yeah, so don't lift up the shoulders, keep them where they are and get that squeeze from behind the shoulder, right into the middle, into your spine, good, try and get that squeeze each time, each time you lift, and especially on that double one, really feel those shoulder blades coming together. Pulling it back, double, good, keep it going for me, good, up, good, and you're done, lovely, good, okay, well done, I'm going to go on, okay, lovely, good, okay, on this one, I'm forward, now my shoulders back and down, this time, is stabilizing me. We've got all that weight at the front, so remember, don't end up here with a rolled over back. Just get that leg lift. Yeah, so strong. Give me that lift. Yeah, so again, they're hanging, but under control. Think about those shoulder blades. Pulling your shoulders back and down. Yeah, so I'm feeling it on that front leg. My core pulled in. And well done. Okay, lovely. Just on the other leg. Give me that lift. Yes. So I'm on the other leg now. I'm not bending at the knee. Try and get a full leg lift through that glute, keeping the abs pulled in, those shoulders back and down, my weights over my front leg, those heavy weights just hanging there but under control, hips facing towards the front the whole time, I don't turn to get that lift, lifting up that leg each time. Yeah, really feeling it now on that front leg. Good. Last few seconds. And good work. Well done. Okay, lovely. Coming back to your lighter weights. Let 
the long ones out to the side. I'm going to start off with just singles, then go to doubles. Okay, singles. Singles, just a single again. Good, just get that long knee bones going away from you. Okay, so watch it go. Okay, now single, single, double. Hold it up. Okay, well done, come down. Single, single, double, and that little roll. Yes. We're really feeling it in the shoulders, but also that core. And good work, well done. Okay, second set, we're going to go straight to the single, single, doubles, circles. Okay, so again, we are using those three sets of weights. Good. Single, single. This for the moment feels quite good. Good. So that work builds up. Especially on this one, the long with the circle out. Good. Give me that lift. Lift. So, I'm going to come up. Knees are a little bit bent, but then I just straighten them off to get that long lever. Okay. Do that lift. Lift. Long and out. And well done. Good. Okay. Then I moved it up to your fours. Single row back, single row back, double row back. Okay, so here. Bottom out. Okay, so still close to my body. Yeah, you that squeeze. Single. Single. Give me that double. In your upper back there. Bring it back. that squeeze, then that double. You're coming down to single figures now. Well done. Keeping those abs pulled in, keeping those shoulders back and down the whole time. And well done. Okay, second set of that. Okay, so abs stay pulled in the whole time. I'll sit and hollow on. So sit back on my heels and get that row back. Okay, so that row back. Good, then that squeeze. Good, so we get that squeeze each time. And then that back. Really feel when you've got that double. Really feel that those shoulder blades come together. Last few seconds now. And well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, so my heavy set of weights, or again, you've got a kettlebell, you can have it here. With that lift each time with my zip and hollow on. Okay. Okay, so I've got my weights at the front, the shoulders back and down, weight over your front leg. Good, so there's a lot of core work going on here. Keep my hips to the front. Keep my shoulders back and down. Keep my weight over my front leg. So really keep your zip and hollow on. Good, give me that lift. Well, well done. Really feel that wobble on the front leg. Good work. Got that heavier weight. Okay. 
Ready to the other side. Okay, so shoulders back and down. I drop over my front leg, my back leg goes back, then it gets that lift. Good, this work really builds up. On that front leg, on that glute. You are lying on the floor after this one. Yeah. Keeping those arms strong. Drop down. Drop your shoulders back and down. Feel it on that upper back. Yeah, just take a little time check there. We're in single figures now. Well done, guys. And good work. Well done. Okay, lovely. I'm going to stay with these weights, but I'm going to get on the floor. Okay. Okay, like we did in the first one, in between my first and second set, I'm going to give you a no weight version. Remember we've done that squat with the squeeze? It's going to be that sort of thing, but lying on the floor. Okay, lovely. So, we're going to drink of water, do. Okay, on my first one. It's going to be a long lever. Weight. Again, my core is going to work for me. That long weight. So again, I am going with a lighter weight. So just get the others out of the way because they will be coming up and across. Okay, so I'm here on the floor. Okay, so zip and hollow is on. Back. Nice and straight. I've done my zip and hollow, so I haven't tipped my hips all the way up. They're here, they're in neutral with my zip and hollow on. Okay, I'm not sitting up on this. It's about getting those legs up, getting that arm up, opposites, so we're going opposites, and then back down, but under control in this section here. Okay, so we know what we're doing. We know what weight we're doing it with. Okay, so grab me that weight. So I start out like this. Abs pulled in, rib cage down. Good, out and across. Good, my hips do not tip. That long lever, remember? Now I've got a long lever. Arm and leg. Good. Going out and across. Well done. Okay, lovely. I'm changing over sides. Exactly the same thing. Sip and hollow always on. My belly button pulled in towards my spine. My ribcage stays down even my arm goes up and down. Okay, here we go. Good, so I'm not rushing these because they want that control. Good, so it's using your core in that sort of combo there of arm and leg. If you feel it's too much for the weight, or you haven't got a whole load of weights, and you've only got a heavy weight, you can do this without the weight, just with the arm. Good. Concentrate on those hips. We're not rocking. Out and cross. And well done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, my next one, you're gonna grab those heavier weights for me, not the heaviest. The heavier set. Okay. Feet just on the floor, elbows close together. It's going to be the drop and that lift. Good, so down to your forehead. From your shoulder to your elbows, you don't move at all. Now what I can add to this, if you want to, is when it drops down, you add a leg out. That leg doesn't have to go out straight if you want to. You can have your knee still closed, so you're going to open the hip. Good. But again, it's about keeping control for that core, 
getting your triceps to work for you. Yes, remember you will be doing this four times. Okay, you can have your leg up like that. If you don't want to drop it down low. That's the other option. Or all the way out if you know the exercise. Okay, well done. Okay, we'll do that again. Okay, so again, the legs are optional. I really want you to concentrate on what your triceps are doing. Good. Hold it. You have those triceps each time coming up. That's it. Can we feel in those triceps? We certainly can, especially after the second lot. And well done. Okay, lovely. Then I'm going to my heaviest weight, and I'm just going to use one of them in between the legs like that there. Okay, arms out. Okay, I'm gonna drop out to the side, bringing that weight in, out to the other side. Good, so again, curl it into you. Keep both shoulders on the floor the whole time. Shoulders back and down onto the floor. I roll onto one hip. Bring it in, back onto both hips. Just roll it, bring it in. Okay, lovely. Now I'm going to change the second exercise to sitting up. And I'm going to use them both. So try this. It's a challenge, it's a little Russian twist with my feet off the floor or on the floor. So remember, you can be here, remember you do have to turn it each time. Good, so if you go with your heavy weights, that's it, good. I'm really feeling that working, hearing my voice there. I have to really concentrate, keep my abs pulled in. Yeah, you know, you're over halfway. It should feel really challenging, especially if you've got those heavy weights. You've got double. Good work. Well done. That's it. So we're going to just challenge ourselves. Getting fitter and stronger. Yes, give me that twist. Last few seconds. Good. Oh, really feeling that. Oh, good work. Well done. Okay, come back to that light weight. Okay. It's about this area here, keeping it down and in. One arm, one leg. Diagonals. Good. So again, my diagonals abs here are getting work to do. Out and across. Good. Keep that under control the whole time. Don't let those hips rock. Definitely don't let your back arch. Keeping it under control. My ribcage stays down even though my arm is out at the side. So this section here, really tight. Pulled in, protecting my spine. Well done, okay. Just the other side. So you can follow on. Tight, as pulled in, ribcage down and in. Okay, up and across. The other arm, anywhere where you feel comfortable it being. Good, so give yourself time, don't rush this. Better when you go slower, because you have more work to do. Okay, get that lift, and that drop. Up 
the cross. And good work, well done. I'm going to do the tricep this time. I'm going to go from the very beginning with my legs. Your legs are optional. You can have your feet on the floor if you feel that you lose concentration on your arms. Otherwise, I'm here, my weights are together, they drop to my forehead, one leg goes out, then the other leg goes out. And again, you don't have to go for quantity, just go for the quality of that, each exercise done well. Good, and I'm holding it, that's it, good, so I've really dropped it. Check that your elbows are not moving around and that they stay close together. So you've got that work on your pecs as well. Well done. Okay, we're down. This is where you move it up to that heavier weight. This is the Russian twist. Lovely. And then just only two minutes of your own body weight exercise and then you're done. Okay, lovely. I'm out to the side. I curl it in. Other side. Good, so go with that heavy weight if you can. If you've got two lighter weights, stick one behind each knee and then move the legs as one unit. Good, now feel that you're not rolling down your mat. If you are, it's because you've probably arched your back at this point here and then you'll move down the mat as you go down. So, you really want it under control. Drop it out to the side. My zip and hole lug is always on because at this point here, my legs are out with my back off the floor. Well done. Okay, here we go. Last weighted exercise. Okay, feet on the floor off. I'm in my V set. I am getting that turn and the work is also not just in the turn with the top half, but that stop and then going again. Good. Squeeze it. Get me that turn each time. Last of our weighted exercise, all the rest is going to be body weights. Okay, good work, well done. Down. I'm here. I'm on the floor. My head's up. Thumbs on my cheek round there. Head's out. I'm going to cycle the legs. Good, so it feels pretty nice to be free of those weights. But again, my abs are still working hard. 45 seconds. Yeah, keeping those elbows open. That's why those thumbs are on. The cheekbones there. 
Alright, coming down into your singles now. Single figures. Make each one a good one. That's it, let's go through to the end. And good work, well done. Okay, lovely. Second set. Okay, up. Okay, here we go. Good. Elbows nice and open, remember. Make sure it's just not the elbows or the head that's going. It has to be the shoulder with the elbow on the end. Zip and hollow on so my hips stay nice and steady. Good. Keep it going. Yeah, 15 seconds left now. Really feeling it now in my obliques. But I also know my core is helping me there stay with my hips on the floor. Three, two, one. And good work. Okay, well done. Instead of coming up in weight this time, I'm going to show you the easier exercise and the harder version. You can choose which one you want to do. Okay, so. I'm on my side, I'm still going to be working for 45 seconds, the in and the out, there, or up and that turn, so again it's all about the stability through the middle, the squeeze through the side of the waist, working the whole side of that side, okay so choose which one you're going to do, you can always start on the harder one, come down to the easier one if you want to. Okay, so sit and hollow. Not have a king in here. I come up. Okay. I go under. I come back out. Good. So again, I'm not rushing these. Good. Give me that turn through. That squeeze back up. Good. Feel it. On that other side. Good. 15 seconds left, so if you're tempted to put that leg down, try not to. Work it through. Really feel it on those obliques. Lovely, good. Okay, on the other side, choose your option. Okay, are we ready? squeeze. Good. Give me that squeeze through. If you can, hold that position. Good. Through and back. Lovely. You'll only have two more exercises after this. Both of which I'll give you the easier version and the harder. Last few seconds now. Good. Three, two, one, and well done. I'm over on my front from that parallel bridge. Okay, both knees off and on, or one, then the other. Okay, 45 seconds. Choose which one you want to do. I'm going to go for double. You'll really feel it through the middle, through that core. Good, bring it on the arms. They've done a lot of work in those first two circuits, those weights, working those arms. So I come to straight, I don't drop my body, I just drop my knees. Okay, remember one leg or both. Okay, we're getting ready to go. Okay, 
Bonus doesn't move around. Yeah, bring it in the arms too. Keep that going for me. Remember, you can do singles if you prefer. Yeah, 15 seconds left now, guys. Let's do this last 15 seconds on this exercise. And then the next one is your very last exercise. Two minutes of work after this. Well done. Okay, lovely. I'm on my hands. Like this, it's going to be the shoulder tap. Now, if you want to go full, you can. But make sure that your feet are outside of your hips, whichever one you want to do, so they're wider. I'm not swinging my hips. That's the important part of this. Keep your zipper hollow. You will feel the work on one side, then the other. Remember, you can be on your knees to firm this. And again, I'm not rushing it. Have to work one side, then the other. Over halfway now. You have only one more exercise of this left after this one. That's it. This is your penultimate. Go. So if you come with me with those heavy weights, you've had a really good workout. You've worked hard. Go. Get me that core. You're working three, two, one. Whew. Okay, lovely. Good. One last time. Then that's it. Good. Okay, here we go. Good, so I'm trying not to swing my hips. I have to really keep my zip and hollow on. Feel the work on one side, then the other. Good, just touching the front of that shoulder. Good, you've got 19 seconds left. Good, do that work for me. Up and touch, up and touch, up and touch. Good, let's work that last 10 seconds now. Good, give me that touch, give me that touch. Five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, I'm gonna take that timer off. We just got to our stretches out. So I'm gonna stay here in this position, but I'm gonna come back, sitting right back, onto my heels, let my head go to the floor, and then get the reach out on the arms. Do you remember those first few exercises we did? Lots of shoulder work and upper back. Especially with those heavier weights and that dead leg lift, not only the front leg, but also round your back as well to keep those shoulders back and down with that heavy weight. Okay, then I bring my hands back down onto my lower back. I let them just lightly touch each other, drop my shoulders back away from my ears, squeeze my shoulder blades together and then get the lift as well. So I really feel that chest expanding out and back, those shoulder blades really coming together and you're getting that lift up towards the ceiling. Okay lovely, then it comes down, I come up, I'm going to take that lunge forward, I'm going to sink into that lunge, so again right in the middle with my weight and then I can feel that hip flexor getting the stretch. Okay, the first one, my arm comes up over the top and I just give it a little pull over and I get a bit more of a stretch down the front of my thigh because it comes down my rib cage here, down into the front of the thigh as my elbow comes over my head. Okay, I'm still keeping low on this but I'm just going to change it to a tricep. You've done those four minutes of tricep work for me. Okay, lovely, then I'm going to come back onto that leg and I'm going to sit back on it. If you can't sit back the whole way, just put your hands down, push your bottom back and then bring your chest down. Or if you want to, all the way down and then pushing that bottom back. It's about those hips, both coming back and then you just getting that tip forward. So feeling it in that hamstring or that front leg. And just relax there. 
and really feel that if your chest could come down a little bit closer it can to that thigh okay then coming up and across slide that back down and then drop out to the side if you want to and if your knees fine with that do otherwise you can lie on your back and do the other traditional glute stretch for me okay lovely just really feel that that hips have gone right out to the side but I've kept my elbows quite even at the front okay lovely coming up I'm just turning but what you want to do is put your other leg forward into that runner's lunge there dropping it down again the weight's going right through the middle my sip and hollow is on and then I'm getting that stretch on that hip flexor there then I'm going to come up and just extend that stretch by just pulling my arm up over my head my rib cage comes up slightly on this and again I'm getting more of a stretch right through the side down through the front okay I'll change that to a tricep stretch just bring my hands over my back again you can do the other tricep stretch if you want to just grab it with the other arm and pull it down so I'm just going to give a little push down or a little pull down okay lovely then I'm coming back and then again you can be here with your hips pushed back or right back on that other leg and then your hips push back so again I'm trying to get my hips as back far as I can and then do the tip down again don't let your head drop down don't be looking at the floor be looking straight ahead in line with your instep but just a little bit further on and all the time just sinking into that if you can or just keep on pushing that bottom back and dropping that chest forward okay lovely come up you can lie on your back if you want to do this one if your knees don't like being underneath you at an angle and then you can drop down again if your knees feel able drop that hip down that muscle has to stretch further out over the hip okay lovely I'm coming back into the middle on this one then we're coming up I'm doing that downward dog wide or narrow up to you whichever one you feel get the most benefit from my heels and my palms are really being pushed into the floor so I can get my height up and back down the backs of the legs but also through my upper half as well getting that stretch out okay lovely up into the balls of the feet bend the knees rock your hips back onto there let your heads hang feel that stretch out on the back of the neck okay your knees are bent you're slowly going to unroll coming up nice and slowly all the way up to the top then I give myself a little roll around on my shoulders that's it good out and back just keep that open just nice and loose yeah well done then that up and back feel that your thumbs are leading that and so you get really up and back okay I'm going to do a little swoosh through through the legs and up drop down through the legs and up I'm going to do one more down and up to the top hands together there and then and back down give that a little shake through okay so well done i hope you managed to go up in those weights when i did as well and felt what the difference was or double up your weights whatever really works for you and also just challenging yourself each time doing the harder exercise or maybe doing the easier going into the harder so i'm really glad you've done it with me today and i will see you again next time okay bye bye for now